They came from right across the country and from abroad. At least a thousand people walking in memory of almost 800 babies, passing dozens of children's toys on the way to where it's believed the remains of those babies lie in septic tanks on the site of the former Tuam mother and baby home. This was a largely silent walk and vigil today in memory of all the babies. There were no big speeches. Instead, the laying down of the ceramic shoes, the baby booties, and the recitation of all the known names of the 796 babies believed to be buried here told the story that people wanted heard. Joseph Joseph Geraghty, Geraghty, Stanton, five days. Geraghty, three Michael Scully, three months. Michael Scully, three months. Three months. Uh, Stanker, ten months. months. But it's an important message to church and state to say that we are not forgetting the Tomb babies. A uh, bit disappointed that the uh, Pope Francis didn't specifically mention Tomb today because be, being in the diocese and all and being so near, be, be, being in Knock, uh, he, he more or less, he did, he did uh, apologise for the church's action uh, with, uh, with the survivors. I was born in Tomb Mother and Baby Home, left it at five, never been able to trace my mother and um, I can't get any information on her, but it's great to see the support and the care from the people, not from the church or the state. I want the church and the state to grow up and give us something back, our dignity, our respect, and for all those that's down here and dead, I want all this done before I go. I'm getting old, I'm not getting well anymore, and it's time for the church and state to cop on. As the crowd dispersed, some took time to read through the names of all the babies. Others symbolically declared the site a crime scene. Eileen Magner, RTE News, Tuam, County Galway.